Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. Are you struggling to write prompts for your uh, AI tools? So in order to get a perfect results, so get rid of the problem in writing prompts. There are many different sites are available and AI tools are available to improvise your prompts. So we have made many videos re uh, related with that to how to elevate your research prompts. So in this line, we are going to explore a new AI tool which will be used useful for us to elevate your or enhance your research prompts thereby you will get perfect results from any of the chatbot you are using to generate your content so let us go on to today's video and explore that AI tool so before going to that AI tool an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct online workshop on AI power it's a AI prompt enhancer so whenever you are asking anything with your AI chatbot so it will generate answers according to the input prompt you have given so i most uh, mostly often use it to say that the be the best prompt you are giving it you will get better results so let us go on to today's video and explore that prompt wise so just to click on this prompt wise so this is ultimate a prompt and answer so click on that prompt wise after that it will be lead to this prompt wise a main page you have to log in with your mail id as i have already did so it will lead to this page so here you will be having two options so in this you have to enter the prompt you have in mind so after that the enhanced prompt will be generated here so let us go on and explore so for example i am going to in order to check that i am going to open chat gpt click on chat gpt so a normal prompt what i am going to give is so a normal prompt write and abstract on the title grid connected PV system for electric vehicle charging station so this is the normal prompt we often use it to give so probably we can mention uh, the number of words in about 200 words so your abstract must be between 150 to 250 words so you you must be always make sure that so after that you can copy that uh, prompt go to chat gpt so and then copy that one click enter so let us see how it will generate content so here you can see this is the abstract generated by our normal prompt so write an abstract on the title grid connected PV system for electric vehicle charging station in about 200 words. So this is the prompt which is uh, uh, given by us. So a normal prompt what everyone can do. So uh, it will generate a content. So after that what we are going to do is. So we are going to uh, enhance that particular prompt. So in order to do so we are going to prompt wise. So here you can click enhance the prompt. So after that it will take several seconds to generate the enhanced prompt. So after the prompt is generated, so we will copy that prompt and we will use it our in chat GPT and explore how it will works, whether the content generated by this two will get a better difference or not. Let us uh, check it out. So after that here our prompt is generated here you can see here. So create an informative and concise abstract for your research paper title grid connected PV system for electric vehicle charging station in approximately 200 words provide a clear and overview of your study its objectives methodology and key findings so these are the important points must be reflected in your abstract so abstract must always uh, key for your journal publication in uh, journal publication of your research paper so the first thing what every reviewer or editor used to check is the uh, abstract whenever they are impressed with your abstract then the possibility of your paper published in the journal will be more so always make sure that your abstract must be a very good one so here you can see start by introducing new need for sustainable transportation solution and risk rising demand of demand for electric vehicle charging infrastructure highlight the significance of your research so this is very important the uh, highlighting significance of your research is very important so next describe the grid connected pv system you are investigated including its components design and consideration outline your methodology including data collection analysis techniques and any simulations or models used summarize your research findings emphasizing the feasibility efficiency and economic benefits 
of this renewable energy solution discuss the potential impact on reducing greenhouse gas so like that it will generate a very brief prompt so thereby you can get a very brief brief prompt also so here you can copy this one so after that you can move on to chat gpt so here paste the uh, prompt we have generated from this uh, prompt yca so here after that click enter so let us see how the abstract will be generated so here you can see the abstract is generated surely there will be it will be most probably a common abstract so here you can see the increasing demand for sustainable transportation of height and the urgency of effective electric vehicle charging infrastructure this research paper explores the design implementation and feasibility of grid connected pv system specifically tailored for ev charging station the study pr primary objective is to address the pressing need for renewable energy integration so here <coughs> you can see that Here you can see the investigated grid connected uh, PV system comprises solar panels strategically uh, positioned to harness solar energy converting into electricity so and then it will explain the findings and recommendations so like that it will generate a better abstract when compared with this one so this will be this will also a better abstract but it will uh, it will only reflect the common things and common words related with the particular research title you have given it won't specify the particular thing especially like this uh, especially for the findings indicate uh, investigated system so like that the important keywords which are related with the abstract will be generated in this kind of uh, that is uh, prompt only so whenever you are going with this prompts uh, so make sure that your prompt must be a very precise and perfect one thereby you will get best results out of it so again we will let us explore with some other prompt So here what I am going to do is I am going to generate a thesis outline for the title I am going to give the same uh, topic that is grid connected PV system for electric vehicle charging station after that uh, so first we will check this prompt in chat GPT so copy and paste in chat gpt so let us see how we, it will generate the content for that particular prompt so here you can see the outline of this uh, particular prompt will be generated so generate a thesis outline for your title grid connected pv system for electrical charging station here you can see introduction background context design and components methodology findings discussion recommendation conclusion so this is the thing so after that what you can do is so you can move on to our uh, prompt wise so click on enhance prompt so this prompt will be enhanced so let us see how it will work out and how it will enhance the prompt so it will take several seconds to enhance so here you can see our prompt will be enhanced so it will be a very brief one so create a comprehensive thesis outline for the topic the topic mentioned that explores the advantages challenges and opportunities of integrating solar energy system with ev charging infrastructure start with an introduction that defines the problem statement and provide background information on increasing demand so copy that one and again go to chat gpt paste that one so and click enter so here you can see so this is the first one it is generated so it is very uh, simple and concise there is no brief uh, thing about that uh, particular uh, that is outline generator so here you can see the subheading the brief analysis problem statement so what is the problem statement must address to the problem statement must address to the increasing demand for sustainable transportation solution challenges in traditional ev charging and infrastructure next what your background must reflect so the background must reflect overview the overview of the necessity for sustainable mobility and the surge in electric vehicle adoption next thesis objectives so what are the important objectives to be mentioned in the thesis so analyze technical specification and performance metrics in grid connected pv system next assess economic feasibility and environmental benefits of solar energy integration 
so next uh, you can evaluate the impact so like that it will create a detailed version of the outline so thereby you can get an idea that in which subtopic what are the details you, you have to explain in the particular subtopics so thereby you can get a better thesis outline and you can use this thesis outline for your thesis preparation to get a perfect content so like that you can enhance your or you can enhance your prompt easily so use that prompt and make your research uh, that is uh, make your chatbot to be trained better and and extract the better content and best content from that chatbot so make use of this option to write your research paper to make your research paper writing simple with first tool what we are going to discuss today is that repromptify so here you can see an easy way to create a prompts so just click on repromptify so after that click on get started so in order to start this you can log in uh, with your mail id so as i as i did this with uh, my gmail id so here <coughs> you'll be having an option called chat and images so in this chat so you can click uh, a simple idea of what you want chat gpt to do for you so here uh, for example say in order to make a literature review so i am just going to type so if you are a fresher with a so if you don't know how to deal with a so just click on what is your mind for example as a beginner make a literature review this is often we people use it to do with a so it's not the case that uh, so let us see how this prompt if i will generate prompt for that uh, make a literature review option so here you can see number of prompts to generate so you can increase four five or whatever you want so i am going to just give three so after that you can click on submit so let us see how it will generate a prompt for us here you can see uh, prompt one construct a comprehensive literature review on the topic of so particular topic you can give focusing on a key contribution and finding thematic trends research methodologies and gaps in the current research the review should span the past 20 years highlighting the most influential studies and critic their strengths and limitations also provide an overview of theoretical frameworks often used in this field the review should be structured in a way that first introduces the topic presents the body of literature and finally concludes with implication and finding and directions for future research so this is how you have to give prompt to your a so then only it will generate better results for you so many of the researchers and those who are working with a uh, used to worry about we we are not getting perfect answers from that a so if you want to get perfect answers from a you have to give perfect prompts to a so that prompt will be very very important so here you can see this is one of the possible prompt for generate are making a literature review so next one is that you can see here <coughs> given the research topic of so you can specify the research topic here could you create an extensive literature review please outline the key research findings identify the primary researchers in the field summarize the current knowledge and debates and indicate the gaps in the existing research in the review including details about methodologies used by various studies and results they have garnered as well their implications at the end of the review suggest potential directions for future research based on the identified gaps so this is also a better prompt so next one you can see conduct an extensive literature review on the selected subject the review should include thorough exploration of the latest and the most relevant research paper academic articles and recognized primary sources available on the topic specifically the review should provide an overview of the existing literature identify key themes trends highlight gaps in the current research establish relationships between the studies and suggest potential directions for future research so like that it will generate another literature review prompt so you can go on and comment which prompt you like related with the literature review so so that is how you can generate a better prompt using this promptify so in order to write an abstract so for example i am going to refresh and use this uh, particular chat promptify again so here so 
so here uh, what i am going to give is i am going to give a option so what we you often use it to do write and abstract so like that uh, we are we are going to give write and abstract so next uh, in this number of prompts we are going to have the three alone three only so after that click that sub uh, submit so here promptify will generate uh, the better prompt to write abstract to ask uh, a tool to write abstract so here you can see prompt one please compose a concise uh, yet comprehensive abstract for hypothetical peer-reviewed research paper on the effects of climate change and global diversity this abstract should succinctly summarize the problem being addressed the research methods used the key findings and implications of this those, those findings the language should be professional and harder to standard academic conventions so this is the first prompt so if you uh, give that particular title in this uh, prompt you, you will get your abstract generator so next one please compose an abstract for the hypothetical research paper in the field of so you, you can mention your field the paper is focused on exploring so you can mention the particular topic and its potential impacts on so you have to mention the impacts for example say if you are using uh, for its uh, renewable energy applications means you can mention here then abstract should concise approximately 200 to 250 words in many of the videos i often use it to say so if you want to generate an abstract from an ai tool so please give a 150 to 200 words not less than 150 or not more than 250 so 150 to 200 words it, if, if it is around 200 months that will be a better abstract for your research paper and also and should encompass the main objectives of research the methodology used the key finding and implications or contributions of the findings to the wider field of so you have to mention the field so next one is that you can see compose a succinct and compelling abstract for hypothetical research paper title so you can mention the title here the abstract should clearly summarize the objective and study and methods used the key finding and implications of the results for future research and possible Con conservation strategies so like that you can make a better prompt for your uh, for <coughs> your AI tool or any other chatbot to generate a better content using this promptify so don't forget to comment which prompt you like the most for the abstract also so this is how you can generate your own prompt by just giving the keyword related to the particular uh, that is particular uh, topic you are going to uh, get answer from an AI tool so you can make use of this promptify and get a better prompt and generate a perfect content for your research paper so the next tool what we are going to discuss is that prompt refine so here you can see uh, this is a prompt refine so in this prompt refine so just uh, you can prompt refine help you to run better prompt experiments so for example if you want to check whether wa what the particular mo particular prompt will generate answers so you can make how to uh, that is refine your prompts so you can give your example prompt so thereby you can refine and uh, refine your prompts and you get better results for example i am just going to uh, give a user prompt make a literature review so this is a normal thing of what i am going to give here so i am going to click submit so let us see how it will generate uh, response for us this is an example how this prompt will generate answers <coughs> <coughs> here you can see title literature review on the importance of early childhood literacy for educational development so it, this is an example topic so instead you can give a, mention a topic here so make a literature review on uh, you can give any particular topic for your research paper so here you can see early childhood literacy plays a crucial load, uh, role in a child's cognitive social and academic development research has been shown that child who are exposed to high quality literacy experiences during the early years tend to have better language skills high levels of academic achievement and improved long-term educational outcomes this literature review aims to explore the existing literature on the importance of early childhood literacy and its impact on educational development here you can see 
this is how your literature review will be generated so like that you can use this prompt refine so you can add or delete any different keywords in your prompts thereby it will generate a content accordingly so from that you can get a detailed analysis how it will uh, generate a better prompt for you so, so sorry better content for you so like that you can refine your prompt by using the different types of keywords in this prompt refine so this also will be very helpful to make your outcome so you can uh, uh, that is how your outcome will be you can see here in this prompt refine itself so like that you can make use of this prompt refine to generate how your uh, probable outcome will be so these are the two important tools we have discussed today promptify and prompt refine so both these tools will be very useful for you to make your research paper writing very simple as I have already said, the prompt we are giving is most important. Thereby, you will get better result from an AI tool. Any of the AI tool, the, uh, it can be. So, whether it be a chat, GPT, mid-journey, whatever the AI tool playground or whatever the uh, database it has. So, you have to extract the better things from the database. That can be done by using a proper prompt. So, so better prompt will always give better results. Hope this video will be very helpful for you. So, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our videos. Have a nice day. Thank you. The tool what we are going to discuss today is that easy prompt library. So, just to Google it easy prompt library, you will be getting this prompt library here. So here you will be having different categories. You here you can see the different categories: academic, ads, I have some blog, career coach, content writing, copywriting, uh, next customer service, design, e-commerce, education, email, uh, entertainment, entrepreneur. Next you can see finance, human resource, job search, life coach, marketing, mid journey, product management, prompt reading. SEO, social media, startup, writing. So these are the different options available. So as far as research is concerned, you can uh, you can explore different types of options here, starting from your academic. So first, click on academic. So here, after I have clicked academic, so these are the different academic prompts uh, here. So here you can see a literature review for your research product. So I am going to click literature review for your research product. So here comes your prompt. So act as a graduate student in a specific field. You have been tasked with writing a literature review for a research project. Your literature review should provide an overview of existing research on specific topic and identify gaps or areas where further research is needed. Your literature review should include at, at least 10 peer reviewed sources published within last 5 years and you should critically evaluate and synthesize these sources to build a cohesive argument. Your literature review should be structured in a clear and logical way with subheadings to help organize your ideas. Additionally, you should provide an explanation of the methodology used to search for and select sources. Finally, your literature review should adhere to the style guidelines set forth by your department or discipline. So this itself is enough for a detailed literature review prompt. So you can make use of this literature review prompt in any of the chatbot to generate a better content, especially chat GPT. So you can make use of this literature review prompt. So instead of uh, writing, write a literature review on a particular topic or generate a five references, 10 references on a particular topic instead of giving this, if you generate, uh, if you copy this, like, this kind of prompt and if you give an input to any of the chatbot, so surely it will generate a better content because the training of a chatbot uh, will be based on the what uh, based on what is the prompt we are giving so according to the prompt it will analyze the data sets and it will generate very better answers for your research paper writing <coughs> next you can see writing a case study analysis as a graduate student so you can use this one also a better way to learn uh, concepts and topics with chat gpt so here you can use this one also next one is a research paper on a specific topic so i am going to click that one so a research paper on a specific topic as act as a graduate students working on a research paper you will choose a specific topic related to your field of study and provide three to five page research paper on your topic your page should contain an introduction 
literature review, research methodology, data analysis and conclusion. You should also use at least 5 credible sources to support your argument and cite them according to the APA citation style. You can customize this APA citation style into Chicago or MLA citation style. Next is the final paper should be written in clear and concise language and demonstrate a thorough understanding of the topic include a reference list or bibliography at the end so like that you can make use of this option uh, that is a research paper on a specific topic so you can write a research paper using chat gpt so next one is that <coughs> here you can see what are the other things is available uh, in depth of book summary a discussion post on a scholarly article so here this will be also useful for us to make a literature review writing next a study guide for a specific unit or chapter a curriculum for a new course uh, talk with any books crafting an introduction for your research paper so this is very very important crafting an introduction for a research paper so click on that crafting an introduction for your research paper so here you can see uh, act as a researcher in specific field you are tasked with crafting an introduction for your research paper that highlights the problem being addressed and the significant of the research your introduction should provide a clear and concise overview of topic explain why it is important and identify any knowledge gaps or unanswered question that your research aims to address use academic sources to support your claims and provide a strong rational and uh, why your research is relevant and timely remember to consider your audience which consists of experts in the field and other researchers interested in the topic the final introduction should be uh, between 500 to 2000 words follow a logical structure and effectively capture the reader's attention so this this uh, prompt surely will be a best prompt for write a introduction part of your research paper so you can make use of this prompt to write introduction part of your research paper using any AI tool so you can copy and paste in chat gpt and uh, give you the topic you are working with and it will generate a better content for you so next one is a thesis statement and outline so click on the thesis statement and outline so here you can see so in order to generate a thesis statement and outline so you can use this prompt act as a graduate student who needs to write a research paper on a specific topic you will provide a clear and concise thesis statement an outline for your paper your thesis statement should be one sentence summary of a main argument you will make in your paper your outline should include the main points you will cover in each section of your paper make sure to incorporate best practices and industry standards for academic writing such as proper citation and organization your paper should be tailored to your internet audience which in this cause uh, which in this case you see your professor and fellow students in your academic field so you can make use of this uh, prompt to generate a thesis statement and outline for the topic you have chosen for your uh, that is research uh, research writing next crafting introduction of your research paper so next uh, we have discussed that one next one is a reflective essay on a course or topic next you can see writing an argumentative essay on a converse, uh, controversial topic next uh, a, a annotated bibliography for a research project so a classroom activity for a specific subject and grade level a class syllabus for a semester long course a lesson plan for a perfect a specific subject and grade level a grand proposal for research funding use this tagline for your product creating an abstract for a conference paper so here i will click this one because uh, we, we often use it to write abstract for our research paper so here you can see act as a scholar or researcher who is preparing to uh, submit a conference you will provide a concise and effective abstract that captures the essence of your research the abstract should clearly state the research problem research methods main findings and implications of the research the abstract should be no more than 250 words and should follow the guidelines provided by the conference organizers so as i have already mentioned in many of our videos that your abstract must be between 150 to 250 words so thereby you will be getting a better and clear abstract for this so next one is that you can see uh, here English translator and improver so you can use this English translator and improver 
so in order to improve the quality of your uh, writing in your research paper so you can you make use of this option called english translator and improver so next one is writing a discussion section for a scientific paper so this one will be very important for us to research paper writing that is writing a discussion section for a scientific paper so i am going to click this one so here you can see it is a very uh, big prompt so act as a research scientist your task now is to write a discussion discussion session section that interprets the results of your study and uh, explains their significance and places them in a context of existing research in your field uh, your discussion should address the following points so these are the important points to be taken care of while writing your uh, discussion section so here you can see start start with a brief summary of your results and the statistical significance interpret your findings and explain how they relate to your research questions and hypothesis discuss the strength and limitations of your study including any potential co co confounding variables or source of bias compare your results to those of other studies in the field and explain how findings fit it in with existing literature identify any new insights or implications of your study and suggest directions for future research so you can make use of this option to write the discussion section of your research paper so next one is that so here you can see till now we have discussed uh, more of the sections in our research paper writing we have discussed about abstract introduction literature review and discussion part so these are the important things available in this particular academic alone so you just click on academic so apart from this uh, you will be having uh, options in content writing so in content writing copywriting next you can see uh, education so in education you can see so these are the important things available in this easy prompt library so you can make use of this prompt you can copy and paste this prompts for your research paper writing it is for free so hope this video will be very helpful for you so because many of us are struggling to write a better prompt for our uh, for in order to generate uh, content from our ai tools so in order to do so this will help you to generate a better content where you can get decided results for uh, the question you have asked for so hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe our channel have a nice day thank you the the tool what we are going to discuss today is that god of prompts so ai prompts for chat gpt midnight google bot etc so just to click on that god of prompt so here you, you will be having a dashboard like this here so ai prompts <coughs> so you can explore uh, best ai prompts so here you can see ai tools so these are some of the ai tools by category so after that uh, you can give a option called you given an option called free resource so click on that free resource so in that click get started so here you can have two different options here free prompt engineering tool next to 150 plus act as chat gpt prompts so first of what i am going to give us i am going to give 150 plus act as chat gpt prompts so let us see what are the inbuilt prompts available chat gpt prompts available here here you can see act as a linux terminal so as far as research is concerned act as a english translator and improver so i want you to act as a english translator spelling character and improver i will speak to you in any language and you will detect the language translate it and answer in the character and improved version of my text in english i want you to replace my simplified a o level words and sentences to more beautiful and elegant upper level english words and sentences Keep the meaning same but make them more literary. I want you to only reply the correction, the improvements and nothing else. Do not write explanation. My first sentence is so you can copy that particular sentence. You can speak in your own language that will convert it into a better, uh, better uh, grammatically correct English sentences. So like that you can see act as a po position interviewer, act as a JavaScript console, act as an Excel sheet. So here you can see act as an English pronunciation helper. So it will help us to uh, improve the pronunciation. See how they are giving that particular prompt, how they detailing the particular prompt that will help us to make a better prompt for our research. So next you can see act as a spoken uh, English teacher and improver. So travel guide. So here you can see act as a plagiarism checker. Uh, 
so i want you to act as a plagiarism checker i will write you sentences and you will only uh, that is reply undirected in plagiarism checks in the language of the given sentence and nothing else do not write explanation on replies my first sentence is like that you can give uh, the sentence to be checked for plagiarism so you can give uh, in this act as plagiarism prompt so next act as a character from your movie book anything act as an advertiser act as a storyteller football commentator next stand up comedian uh, motivational coach composer debater debate coach screen writer novelist movie critic poet rapper motivational speaker philosophy teacher math teacher a writing tutor next you can see cyber security specialist recruiter uh, life coach etymologist commentator magician career consult counselor pet behaviorist personal trainer mental health advisor real estate logi logistician a dentist so like that act as a doctor so here you can see so for doctor also it will be having a different prompt act as a chef automobile mechanic financial analyst investment manager so like that uh, more than 150 plus uh, different types of uh, prompt are available even it has a prompt called prompt generator so here you can see act as a prompt generator so i want you to act as a prompt generator firstly i will give you a title like this act as an english pronunciation helper that will give me a prompt like this i want you to act as a pronunciation for turkey speaking i wa- i will write sentences and you will only answer their pronunciation and nothing else so like that you can customize this prompt according to your own use act as a prompt enhancer you can enhance your own prompt using this kind of prompt so if you are having a prompt in mind so you can enhance this using this prompt enhancer so in that you can copy and t- paste the data which is to be asked for that ai tool so that thereby your prompt will be enhanced so next act as a dream interpreter next fill in blank worksheets software quality assurance so next sql terminal dietitian psychologist tech reviewer so like the academician next lunatic gas lighter journal reviewer so i want you to act as a journal reviewer you will need to review and critic articles sum- submitted for publication and critically evalu- uh, evaluating the research so if the, if this prompt can be useful for you to make you to analyze your uh, research paper after you have completed your research paper so you can use this prompt in any of the ai tool to check for it and you will get a marks for that also so act as a journal reviewer thereby you can um, make you the quality of your paper even better so there will be a possibility of selection in journal will be increased more using this kind of prompt so next you can see act as a social media influencer so like that as a act as an essay writer so these are different types of from even astrologer classical music composer journalist makeup artist tech writer so act as a tech writer you will create uh, in, uh, you will act as a creative and engaging te- engaging technical writer and creates guides on how to you, do different stuff on specific software so like that you can ask so next you can see act as a python interpreter so he, i will give you a python code and you will execute it do not provide any explanation do not respond with anything except the output of the code the first code is so like that you can give your code and you can analyze your python code also next act as a synonyms finder so whenever your paper is subjected to plagiarism you want to find best synonyms for the words you have used the common words so in order to do so you can use this kind of a prompt to act uh, that is uh, give a better synonym finder so apart from this you will be having different types of prompt so here you can see machine learning engineer it expert chess player full stack software developer act as a mathematician act as a time travel guide talent coach next emoji translator php interpreter uh, next uh, solar uh, search engine next uh, new language creator act as a language director next uh, act as a diagram director life coach so like that different options are available so you can go on and explore here you can say act as a proofreader this one i am uh, what i am telling uh, in this video is that it will be helpful for you to make your research paper uh, it will help for a uh, for us to use it as our research prompts so here you can see i want you act as a proofreader i will <coughs> i will provide you text 
and I would like to review them from the spelling, grammar or punctuation errors. Once you finish reviewing the text, provide me with the necessary corrections or suggestions for improvement the text. So improve the text. So you can use this for proofread your uh, research paper article. So you can make use of this prompt. So next you can see chemical reaction vessel, act as a uh, friend, chat GPT prompt generator, note taking assistant. So like that you will be having more than 150 plus free prompts. So if you are wishing you can go and access this prompts. So next option is that free prompt engineering tool. So click on this free prompt engineering tool. So in this you will be having a chatbot. So here it will be uh, having the details of the prompt it will have the basic details of the prompt what is a prompt engineering tool what is a prompt just just to click a prompt is a simple command or a snippet of text that you can obtain from the ultimate god mode chat gpt chat gpt prompt library and input to the chat gpt to produce specific result for instance you could employ a prompt to create advertising tool arrange a business meeting or assess a real uh, estate landscape so this is what the basic prompt is all about so this is all about the frequently asked questions related with the prompt so here you will be having a chatbot so here you can see it's a chatbot from god of prompt so in this chatbot i have asked uh, so prompts to generate abstract of your research paper so here so it it will it, it is it will generate the prompt so here you can see write a concise abstract for a research paper title so here it will give you a title the impact of artificial intelligence in healthcare the abstract should summarize the key findings methodology and implications of the study in three to four sentences so like that it will generate prompt so in this chatbot you can ask anything you want to the god of prompt and it will generate answers to them so like that you can create you can ask for prompt and it will generate prompts for you so thereby you can get a uh, idea that how uh, you can ask to a regarding the particular content you want so like that you can get an idea so by asking this in chatbot so apart from that uh, so if you want a detailed uh, prompt so you have to go for subscription option so in this So click on unlock God mode. So this is the uh, that is a subscription option that is payment option. So here you can see prompt library 2000 20,000 plus chat GPT prompts 50,000 sorry 5,000 plus tax to tasks to automate ultimate solution for all business tactics lifetime access and updates so here you have to pay dollar 67 so it is a uh, it will give a lifetime access for you to access all the different prompts associated with the particular AI tools so you can make and also you will be having different types of AI tools present here so you can go on and explore different types of AI tool so you can use this uh, a tools also so here you can see for copywriting so dashboard seo content assistant like how next uh, you can see a project uh, uh, description generator quick uh, creator shop yeah so like that it will also a uh, uh, search engine for different types of a tool so here you can see coding assistance customer support education for different categories you will be having different types of ai tools also so go on this card of prompts and explore uh, the prompts the free prompts available if you want you can ask in the chat so make use of this option to make a better prompt for getting better results for your research paper hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you